We learned just how important truck drivers are to keep us going during the pandemic and the supply chain breakdown, but a shortage of truck drivers continues to be a problem. So as Elise Corville explains, a local school is bringing back a program with the goal of perhaps getting more people in a job and truckers on the road. There's a major truck driver shortage right now, and it's only predicted to get worse. That is according to the American Trucking Association. Experts say the industry was about 64,000 drivers short last year, and this year it's expected to reach a record high of more than 82,000. There's a lot of opportunities um, for our community uh, to get started in this career. Over at Baton Rouge Community College, school leaders are trying to fill that need by relaunching a program designed at getting people behind the big wheel. Dean of Technical Studies and Adult Education Heather Gidry says the program is meant to streamline the process of becoming certified to just six weeks. The commercial driver's license program requires two weeks in the classroom and four weeks training on the road. It's a day program. Um, they're going to come in from seven to four and when they finish those six weeks they're going to test. Um, they're going to be able to test um, uh, somewhere close by um, where they can um, um, do the driving portion of the test. And uh, once they get their, their CDL license, um, they'll be able to, to get started working. From 20 years on the road behind the big wheel to now in the classroom teaching, program instructor Jason Butcher says he's ready to get students trained up and ready for the workforce. In reality, if you buy it, it came off of a truck. Look at the consumers, look at what's purchased. You'll never have enough trucks to keep up. There will always be a shortage. It's a profession that's never going to go anywhere. To keep up with demand, trucking needs more than 1 million new drivers over the next decade to replace those leaving the industry. Without the trucks, the country would shut down. You wouldn't have food. You wouldn't have gas. You wouldn't have oil. wouldn't have clothes. The program follows guidelines from the Department of Transportation and the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. If we can get them in here and train them the right way and have them safe, it means a lot. Elise Corville for WAFB 9 News. Once students complete the training program, they'll be able to test for two different types of commercial licenses.